Hello, in this tutorial we're going to look at using the Motion Builder plugin in order to stream all the uh, real-time data from Phase Shift into Motion Builder onto a rigged head. Uh, but let's first uh, dive back into Phase Shift and see what parameters we need to be aware of. Um, first of all, in the Network tab under Tracking, we need to make sure that Network Streaming is actually enabled. And under Preferences, we need to make sure that we're using the TCP IP protocol and have head post set to relative to neutral. So with that, we'll go back into Motion Builder. And after the installation procedure, you should have a, a new device called Phase Shift device in your asset browser. So let's drag that into a new scene. And um, when we look at the settings here, uh, you can see that we need to fill in the host name or the IP. Uh, this will be for the machine that is running phase shift. In my case, I'm running everything on the same machine, so I can stick with the uh, default local host IP address. And I'm also using the default port. Uh, in case you've changed that in phase shift, you also need to match it up here. So let's go ahead and click the online button. And we can see now that there's data actually streaming in from phase shift. And once we go into model binding and create a new one, we can see that we actually have objects in the scene that represent the head and uh, the eyes. Um, in the next chapter, we'll actually look at where all the data is uh, in the scene and how we can use it later on for rigging.